Hey everybody, it's Paul Ramsey and I'm joined today by Tommy V who is presenting at the 2017 NGH convention along with his dad, uh, Jerry Valley. They're gonna be talking about testing and challenges for deepening hypnosis. That's a neat topic. How are you, Tommy? I'm great, Paul, great. Good to, Good see to you. have you here. It's cool. Thanks. So, um, you know, the standard, what we've been doing with this is trying to give everyone a sort of sense of what you're, what you're like as a presenter and, and what you're going to be sharing with people. Let's start with you before we get into the topic, okay? Tell us uh, the brief history of how Tommy V came to the world of hypnotism. Well, it's very brief. I'm kind of uh, in my family, if you will. My father is Jerry Valley, and but I didn't get into it until I was 30, Paul. My major in college is hotel and restaurant management. Oh. The gist of the story is I got fired. I was out of work, didn't know what to do. And Jerry said, why don't you become a hypnotist? And um, and as you know, there's two types of hypnosis, stage and clinical. I was too afraid to go on stage, so I said, I'll be a clinical hypnotist at first. And that's what I learned. I, I trained with my father, got certified by the NGH, and uh, then I went on to do shows. So basically, I was out of work and had somebody in my family who was a hypnotist, so it, it worked out great. That's so funny. All these years that I've known you, I never knew that before. I, know, I always thought you were in it from the beginning with dad <laughs> in your life the way he was. Perception. That's Perception. cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. that's yeah. me. And so, you, too. you know, I, I, I picture you as being in it all your life. <laughs> it's and true. I didn't start until I was 30. I started, yeah, same thing. I started when I was 30. Yeah. You've been around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. um, you know, you've been off the top of your head, like, how many years would you say you've gone to the convention? Well, I've been going since I started uh, 20, uh, over 20 years. I think maybe 25 now. Yeah. Um, and it, it's an awesome convention. You gotta yeah. go. I, I mean, every time we train somebody or I run into, you gotta go. Yeah, it's it's just amazing, and cool. uh, it's it's cool. So you know the format. I mean, the format's been the format forever. I mean, every hour, lots of choices, lots of topics. Why? And and you're um, presenting multiple topics this year, but we're just talking about this one today. Why? Um, of all the topics, I mean, that someone with your breadth of uh, of history and, 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 you know, expertise. Why this topic for you? Why are you presenting on this topic? Well, this is uh, great for any level of hypnotist, but it's for clinical hypnosis. And at, at the convention, we get a lot of newbies or new people in the business every year. And this is something that every hypnotist should be doing in their office. And it's something that I didn't do for years, testing and challenges, because I was afraid of it. And now I do it all the time and, and you, you get better results. So I wanted to share something with people that they can use in their office to get better results. Yeah, cool. So your description says that uh, this particular presentation is gonna teach you how to effectively use the proper testing and foolproof challenges to get your subjects into a deeper state. Uh, tell, tell us about what the value for a, a hypnotist, what's the value of knowing how to do that? Well, a couple of things. You, you want to get them as deep as possible, but you know the client is the one who selects where they're going, how deep they go. But also, this this will help hypnotist, hypnotists who have the problem of clients at the end of the session saying, "I don't know if I was hypnotized," even though you told them in advance you're not going to be sleeping, you're going to hear everything I say, you're going to remember everything, even though you go over all that. Sometimes you get I don't know if I was hypnotized because I heard everything. When you yep. do challenges like this, this gets them into hypnosis right away. And then you can uh, feed that back to them in po post hypnosis. You couldn't put your arm down. You couldn't open your eyelids. So you want them to leave uh, Paul and, and our listeners out there with the feeling that something did happen, that I was hypnotized as opposed to I wasn't hypnotized. Right. If they think that nothing happened, they're probably not going to make the change. Yeah. So these yeah. challenges, it makes it foolproof. They can't say I wasn't hypnotized if they said if their arm didn't go down. So, so there's answer. an important concept there, Tommy. I mean, what you're really speaking to is this notion that depth alone doesn't guarantee the absorption of suggestion, but that just the belief in the client's own like perception that they got hypnotized has an impact on whether or not they fully accept those suggestions in your experience. Well, yeah, I think it does have an impact. Yeah. Um, getting them into hypnosis is important too, but uh, them believing it too, I, I think it's definitely important. Yeah, yeah. 
Tell us about, um, tell us about a learning breakthrough that you had about this particular area. You mentioned earlier that you used to not even do it in your practice and now you do it all the time. Give us sort of a learning breakthrough story there. Well, I, I did uh, clinical hypnosis for years without any testing or any challenges, really. Uh, definitely no challenges because a challenge is uh, something a client can do or cannot do. Um, so it's obvious whether they did it or not. And I was afraid of it. What if, what if they didn't do it? What if they, their eyes popped open? Huh? What if their arm goes down? So I, so I was getting some good results. But then I found the breakthrough is that I realized that I can do this and I can word it properly that it's, it, it works almost all the time. It's not 100%, but it's pretty darn close. The way I say it, uh, your forcefulness, a, a little bit of stage comes out in this, um, uh, confident suggestions and commanding and things like that. You cannot put your arm down, and, and, they, and they're awake, too. It's, it's waking hypnosis. So I explained to them, even though, look, you're, you know where you are, you're aware of your surroundings, but you couldn't put your arm down. That's level two of hypnosis, catalepsy. And, and again, I want them to leave with the feeling that, wow, I was hypnotized. And then also I add in, I create time distortion too at the end of the session. So I, one of the things I ask them is how, how long did this feel like to you? And very often they're off. They say two, three, four minutes and it took 24 minutes. So that's another thing you can say to the client. You had time distortion. You couldn't put your arm down. So I never did that before. I was afraid of it. And then I, the breakthrough is I guess I learned that I could do this. And it's powerful too. It really is. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Um, if people want to learn more about you and what you do as a hypnotist, what's the best way for them to do that? Call me. <laughs> May I give a phone number? Sure, absolutely. Of course. My web website and phone is the best way. I'm at tommyv.com, T O M M Y V E E.com. That's my website. I also have valleyhypnosis.com and my uh, direct number anytime is 603-490-5106 603-490-5106 call me anytime cool cool all right guys so again just to recap uh this is friday august 11th in the one hour section the one hour seminars and uh, you can go and hang out with Tommy and Jerry, and they're going to teach you about testing and challenges for deepening hypnosis. And this is, you guys, if you're, if you're just getting into hypnosis, this is definitely one of those things that you want to explore and use to broaden your skill set. And if you can resonate, if, if you resonate with what Tommy said, if you've been uh, certified for years and you've stayed away from it because it's made you nervous and you're, you're worried about failure then, you know, there's still appeal there. Go get the, you know, get this time with them and, and learn the methods and the techniques that they're talking about and strengthen your skill set. Um, either way, uh, time well spent. And uh, so spend some time with Jerry and Tommy at the convention. Tommy, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you, Paul. It's always All good right. to see you. And I'll see you in August. Okay, bye. Bye, buddy. <laughs>